What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be doing a gameplay with the Dark Butter, Kevin Porter Jr. So guys, before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We upload more of my team content here than anywhere else, so if you guys enjoy this game mode, subscribe to this channel. So anyway, yeah, we are in a decent, or this is a decent enough squad this guy's got. Dude got Ralph Sampson. Wow. You better be a beast on next gen. But um, Kevin Porter Jr., he is basically J.R. Smith. He is basically just J.R. Smith, except he is um, auctionable rather than purchasable or rather than grindable. So honestly, if you're one of those all money spend players like and you don't want to grind for J.R. Smith, I mean, KPJ's is going to be the same card, but left-handed. So he's got 42 half badges, catch and shoot, Hall of Fame, Anko Breaker, Rim Protector, Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Heart Crusher, Hall of Fame Interceptor, Intimidator, Lightning Reflexes, Pogo Stick, Tides Defender, Trapper, Worm, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Fast Break Finisher, Pro Touch, Showtime, Downhill, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Flexible Release, Range Extender, he's actually got half blinders as well. So yeah, he's got a lot of key Hall of Fame badges. Let's have a look at, just to make sure this guy's the correct kits. Yeah, these kits are fine. Definitely take away this um, arena. Uh, let's just use up. Let's just make sure nothing glitches out. Because a lot of times stuff glitches out with custom kits and custom arenas. So let's have a look at what price he is. So Kevin Porter Jr. Right now... Let's just say the first couple are a little bit high. He's probably going to go for around 250-ish K. And I don't know if 250K is worth JR. To be fair, the grind is the grind, like... And it's quite a lot of time. Um, And I'm literally going to... I wouldn't be that surprised with a JR Smith grind. Like, if I do the JR Smith grind, I'm getting it, like, a day before. I'm getting it on Thursday. Like, again, I am, like, 40-ish thousand off. Oh, I like that release. I like that release. I don't like this camera angle, though. Give me one five. Yeah, got the right settings. And there we go. That release is so nice. It is so, so nice. I wish it was on very quick, though. Like, if, if he had base 49 on very quick, it might, things might be a little bit different. So it would be like J.R. Smith on very quick. It's just J.R. Smith on quick. So it's the exact same as the Ruby, in terms of release-wise. And you might be able to argue that he's not going to hit as many whites as the Ruby, because he's got steady, whereas Ruby doesn't. So, let's have a look at the behind the back. I mean, Pro 6, I was about to say Pro 6 is that much better than J.R. Smith's Pro 2. I'm like, it is better, but like, Pro 6 isn't the be-all and end-all. But, um, yeah, that's literally what he's going to be. The card is literally just going to be... Better J.R. Smith, or not even better J.R. Smith. He's just going to be lefty J.R. Smith. So if you've got, if you've enjoyed J.R. Smith, you're going to enjoy this card. If you really want a second J.R. Smith in your team, then this is the perfect card for you because that is literally what he is. He is just left-handed second, or he's just lefty J.R. Smith. So yeah, anyway, now it's green one three. Probably a bit too deep. That's a next-gen shot. That's probably a bit too deep as well. Come on, Mick. Be better. Snatch back, maybe. Now let's get on to the game. Ooh, I'm on Xbox. I just forgot. I forgot. Shot aiming. Shot meter. Get off. Because if you're on Xbox, I'm telling you, Xbox... It doesn't happen on the last, on the next-gen consoles when you're playing this gen, but when you're playing current-gen, man, I've just... Uh, I always notice how um, delayed the game is online. So there we go. We greened one. We can now get on to the game right here. So I'm like, I'm thinking this is going to be a good card. I I don't know how exceptional the card is going to be. Like, I think there is going to be a lot of better cards. I think Alonzo might be better than Kevin Porter, J.R. Smith. Um... I do think Alonzo on current gen is going to be better. But I do think on next gen he's going to be spectacular. But again, do I think he's going to be any better than Jay or on next gen? I mean, I don't think so. He might be. He might not be. I'm not that confident in saying he will be. Let's do what I always do. Let's run with the big men. 
go with Ralph Sampson and let's go with David Robinson in there for insane defense to see how they uh, how they can get on against these guys. But um, yeah, it is kind of crazy though. Two K after giving us like nothing for almost the whole season, they've actually done a really good job today. And I will again, we got to give credit where credit's due. Two K's done a very very good job today with content. We've gotten some pretty pretty nice content all around today and i think 2k have done a very nice job at it all right wow no sbmm clearly in um triple threat so he's matching up to hopefully clay because at least clay's a half clamps i keep forgetting kevin garnett he was a day one or he was a um starter card he's i don't know anyone who locked who got him what was it like mellow wade um I think what were they? Mello, Wade, Iverson, Kevin Garnett, Shaq. And everybody took... I took Wade, stupidly enough, but... Oh, yeah, green that. Bad by me! What I went in. Big shot right there. Come on. All right, let's go. Into the hands. Into the hands. Great defense, D-Rob. And he's got wide open off that. See, why did I leave Clay wide open? That was his dupe by me. I don't know why I left him wide open there. And we are currently losing. Worst part is I can, I can literally only quick stop going one way. Oh, it's a very early... Oh, how did that go in? Oh my god. I accidentally shot shot it. I pressed square at the wrong time. And this is just the game. This is a weird game where every white goes in. There we go. We at least greened that one there. Yeah, I am. Um, you can tell with the amount of whites that go in both ways. Like, I'm not a fan of this game. They go in my way as well. Like, there's... Ah. Uh, I would much rather a larger green window and less whites than a smaller green window and more whites like this game. That's a good shot there by Kevin Porter Jr. I'm telling you, he's different to JR. He is different. I don't care what anyone says, he's different to JR Smith. And I said it from the start, like, for me, Ruby JR Smith was better than Diamond. Or Ruby at yeah, Kevin Porter Jr. is better than Diamond JR Smith. And this Kevin Porter Jr. for me is better than JR. Especially on this gen. Maybe not on next gen. Because JR is really good on next. And Kevin Porter Jr. is not quite as good on next, I don't think, even his, like, Ruby card. Come on, make me better at person. Okay, we're good. Do we get through them? Spin dunk, maybe? No. Oh, I suck at this game. Good pinch. Oh, I should have been a... I should have been a steal right there. Alright, let's actually set a screen. Going middle, the one side that I can actually go off and quick stop. There we go, I think. That's green in his face. Let's go. Didn't even need the quick stop there. We still greened it. This release is absolutely cash. It is absolutely cash. I don't know why. I don't like it on JR, but I like it on Kevin Porter Jr. KBJ is the only player I really like the release on. I don't mind on Felipe Lopez, but I hate it on JR Smith for some reason. Fade away. We out here taking leaners to shot. That's another green. Like, his wide opens. He's, what's he, green four in a row? I got it that he had take right there, but still. Unlucky. Great defense, Kevin Porter Jr. It's his shot. That's a bad release. I wish we'd ended on a green, and we could, we could have ended on a big, big streak of greens, but I'll take that. He's all right. He's okay i mean that's the like it's the best way i can describe him he's fine there's nothing wrong with the card he's not bad you can have a lot of success with him he's actually this isn't even his best gen though he's really really good on on next gen there's just one thing, though. 
one thing that I'm just always kind of wary about is that it's just, it's J.R. Smith. It is J.R. Smith. And is J.R. Smith better than Luca? I don't know. Is J.R. Smith better than... I, I, I can't tell. I can't encourage you guys to spend more than 100k on this guy. Like, yes, he's good. If you're a huge Rockets fan, if you're a huge KPJ fan, you got a, you got a really good card. That's basically, it's another one where it's like, if you're a huge KPJ fan, be my guest, go ahead. But like, let's compare his price. Let's just say he settles at 220k. Let's compare that to Grand Hill. Grand Hill's cheaper than that. Grand Hill's better than that. He's better than Weber. He's better than Weber. He's better than Kobe on next gen. He's probably worse than Kobe on current gen, but not by much. He's way better than Kobe on next gen. But like, how much better is he than? He's a lot better than all these players. Like he's a lot better than Harden. He's really good. KPJ is really, really good. If you were not playing with the point guard position, I probably wouldn't use him at the two. But he's JR. He's just there, JR Smith. If you really like that JR Smith card, stick with it. If you don't, don't. Don't buy him. Like, if you're one, if you really like JR Smith and you want nothing more than to run two JR Smiths or to have a JR Smith starting and a JR Smith coming off the bench, then KPJ is perfect for you because I actually think he's slightly better, JR Smith. I think some of his animations are a little bit better, especially on current gen. He's slightly better, J.R. Smith. But, I mean, there are better cards for cheaper. So, now that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.